I know you want pop, you want, Damn. you want rock and roll. You want it? Boom, boom. This year's remix got some phonics. So I got pop, I got, Damn. I got rockin' electronic uh, beats. I got your pop music with the future flow. So I want even if the sky is falling down. and you may even have one, but have you ever wondered, what's the big deal about blogs? This is Blogs in Plain English. To make sense of blogs, you have to think about the news and who makes it. We'll look at news in the 20th century versus the 21st century to make our point. In the 20th century, the news was produced professionally. When news happened, reporters wrote the stories and a tiny group of people decided what appeared in a newspaper or broadcast. Professional news was mainstream, general, and limited. The 21st century marked a point where news became both professional and personal. A new kind of website called a weblog, or blog for short, came onto the scene that let anyone be a reporter and publisher, often for free. As blogs became popular, they created millions of news sources that gave everyone an audience for their own version of news. Of course, we're using the word news loosely, but really, isn't everything news to someone? With a blog, a business owner can share news about his business. A mother can share news about her family, or a sports star can share news with fans. These people are all bloggers. How did this Blog sites make sharing news on the web easy. Blog sites provide templates where you plug in your information, making it quite easy to create your site. Gotta get get, gotta get get, gotta get get. Students and parents connect from home. Blogs provide an archive of information, one site versus multiple papers sent home. What information can be shared easily? Classroom video, photos of activities, links to sites, homework, daily schedule, notes to parents, special schedule, news, personalized news, literature lists, music. If it can be shared in paper, it can be shared now on your blog site. Research is showing that Teachers who use blogs engage students on a higher level. This article cites um, a teacher who noted that her students write almost twice as much when blogging versus using conventional writing practices. Because it's password protected, we're not publishing this necessarily. So,